Now we are going to see how to create a text field programmatically. Open the View Controller Implementation file. In the View Did Load method implementation, declare a new UI text field object and initialize the frame for the same. Set the placeholder text for the text field object using the placeholder property of the object. Add this resultant object as subview in the main view. Now if we run the application, we can see the resultant text field of given width and height and the placeholder text. We can set the border style using the border style property and the value given to it is UI text border style type. We can run the application to see the difference. We can also set the background color of the text field using the background color property of the text view. We have to implement the delegate methods of the text field to handle events to the text field. It can be done by adding the UI text field delegate class in the extend section of the interface file. Now let's make the text field object global by declaring it in the interface file and implement the text field should return method to make the keyboard disappear on touching the return button of the keyboard. In the implementation of the method, Add the code to resign keyboard which appeared in response to the text field that we programmatically created. Next step is to link the delegate with the text field object added. For this, we use the setDelegate method of the text field with parameter as self. We can set the text color for the text filed object using the text color property. We can also specify the text alignment of the text field using its text alignment property. Now, if we run the application, we can see the resultant text field with the modifications made.